What's up, everybody? Welcome back to She Where I Live. My name is Joe. We are back today with the High Point 995 TS. Love it or hate it, it is an extremely popular pistol caliber carbine. I was in touch with a company called Long Shots Manufacturing, and we kind of talked about what they do, parts that they make specifically for High Point carbines, and a lot of other things that they make. They were gracious enough to send me some products, and we're actually going to go ahead and customize this 995 TS today and uh, put a couple of cosmetic things on it and a couple of actual functionality pieces on it. Let's do it. Unfortunately, if you're watching this on YouTube, you're not gonna be able to see how to install this stuff, but you're gonna see the finished product right now. So here we are finished. We have a much, much better charging handle. Long shots manufacturing, nice grippy charging handle that is fully functional. We have oversized magazine release. We've got 14.4 inch full metal rail on the top that looks absolutely slick as snot. We've got six inch metal rail down here on the bottom. We've got the Viper thread protector that is complementing the barrel shroud and then the M-lock under barrel metal rail. I'd say for a flashlight, not really anything else, but definitely you could put a flashlight on there. Man, this looks so much better than the stock parts on the 995 TS, you guys. This is awesome. So at this point, what we need to do is we need to get out to the range and put some rounds down on some steel so that's where we're gonna go for me it's gonna be a couple days for you it's gonna happen right now so we made it down here to the range just to take as much human air out as possible i went ahead and brought the caldwell precision turret uh, just to try and see if i can get as nice as groups as possible we'll probably go out to 100 yards maybe we'll try the turkey at 150 yards one thing I did want to show you guys is the long shots base plate for the magazines. These are really cool because there's actually no modification needed whatsoever to the magazine itself. The base plate just sits on there and then you screw it into the bottom of the high point base plate. And that actually gives you a much wider surface to pop the magazine up into the mag well. And, uh, it makes it way easier to put the magazines in. I highly, 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 highly recommend these. I put the red dot back on it that we had on last time in the last video, and I didn't have to make any adjustments whatsoever. It's still pretty much on. So we'll go down to the 25 yard targets and just see if we can do a decent group on those, and then we'll move out to the 100 yard. We are using Core 115 grain foam jackets. SSP eyewear, check them out, link in the description. Yeah, those base plates for the magazines, those are nice. I like them a lot. That charging handle, so much better than the stock charging handle. Like just nine day difference. Okay, let's see here. So that very first shot I pulled, I think it was a little left. Other than that, that looks like a pretty nice little group to the body. This time we'll go to the head, 10 shots to the head and see what happens.
Can't argue with that. So my very first impressions are, I can tell you 100% that with the top rail, the 14.4 inch top metal rail, and the 6 inch lower rail, it gives this carbine a completely different feel. It feels way sturdier than just with the stock plastic rails. So if I was going to suggest must-haves from long shot manufacturing, the 14.4 inch top rail, the 6 inch bottom rail, and the magazine bumps. Minimum. If you're going to do any customization to your high point carbine, those three things. Uh, the thread protector, the barrel shroud, again, those are cosmetic. The barrel shroud does actually come in functional when you add the lower rail to it. Uh, I actually have a flashlight that I'm going to be reviewing for a company on the way that I'll put on there and I'll actually review it on this one. The magazine release, uh, actually that would be four. I definitely recommend the magazine release because as to where I couldn't have the grip in my hand and just reach it with my thumb, I 100% can now. So that's an absolute definite upgrade too. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna reload and then we'll move down to 100 yards. I'm gonna put 10 shots down on the 100 yard plate. If I can make all 10 shots, which I don't think is gonna be a problem, we'll use the next magazine to try and go out to the turkey at 150 yards. Ten shots. With these new rails, there's way more consistency than there was with the plastic rails. 100%. If you watched my other video, you can see what I'm talking about. Yes, there is a different advantage because I am using the turret, but I'm not that shaky yet in my old age, so it's not a ton of difference. Let's go ahead and I will try the turkey down at 150 yards. Let's see if we can hit it. That looked left. Uh, that was almost right on. That was high right. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. It is a little windy, but these are kind of all over the place. And I really don't believe that it's a it's a gun issue. Interesting. We're very consistent at 25 and 100 yards. That 150 yard mark though. That's interesting. Last time I was out here, it did take me quite a few shots to actually hit it. But let's try again.
me go back to 100 and make sure that we're consistent on the 100. Yeah, so we're consistently on at the 100. I'm not quite sure what's going on at the 150 at the turkey. These last five, 100 yard plate. Five shots, five shots. All right guys, so here's my bottom line on the long shots manufacturing aftermarket parts for the high point carvings. The rails top and bottom and the extended magazine release and the magazine bumpers, absolute must. Barrel shroud, thread protector, cosmetic, uh, and somewhat functional, absolutely. The only criticism that I have is how much play there is in this charging handle. That's it. It does flop around, but it is still a hundred times better than the stock charging handle. So I, it's not that I would say no to this. I would just say, you know, long shots, maybe if we could get some of that play out, that would be better. Other than that, you guys need to check out long shots manufacturing. Uh, if you own a high point carbine, or even if you're going to be looking at getting a high point carbine, they have some awesome stuff and we're going to do more with this in the future couple other tests with a couple other pieces. Thank you guys for stopping by. My name is Joe with She Ride Live, and I'm out.